you know, your confidence is very low. You, you ask questions, why me? Why are they identify me? Why are they calling me names? And it's something which you've got to try to, you know, nip in the bud, shall we say, because again, you know, it starts with name calling, then it turns to bullying and then it can t turn to violence and it could end up with people lo losing their lives. I had a lot of experiences as a player, especially when I was playing in the early 80s. Again, you know, it's well highlighted there weren't as many black players or foreign players playing in, in the leagues then. Verbal abuse, you know, again, you know, we go back to the monkey chanting, you know, even down to bananas being thrown at you, you know, um, you know, being called names. Um, and obviously, um, I wasn't equipped or educated to know how to deal with it and didn't have the support. Did you think it had, it had gone away? Because it seems to have resurfaced now with, with Twitter in many ways. No, it's never gone away. I said it's something which we fight on a daily basis. Um, yeah, it has obviously um, improved, with, um, especially with the campaign going into schools and educating people regarding um, racism in society. But it was just lying under the surface. It is so easy to just send a tweet. People wouldn't say this to their face now, would they, really? Well, that's right. You know, that, and that just shows you, you know, uh, again, if you, if you won't say something to somebody's face, then it's not worth saying. And, um, you know, I, we encourage people to, you know, if you do hear any racist comments, you know, to challenge it, you know, ask people why, why they've said that.